This is going to be so hard to put down. This thing is hard to put away at the best of times. Okay. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Uh, I normally you have to use both my legs to put this contraption down. It's so strange. I'm going to end up trapping my fingers. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Why do I feel like such a cripple right now? Okay, try again. Try again. Okay. Push it, push it, please. <gasps> Ow! Ow, how did that hurt so much? Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Now we just bend on one leg and pick it up. Ow! Put it in. Slide it. Oh! Ah, now that's hurting. Ow! What's not gonna hurt? Why is this? Ow! Oh. Get in, you stupid thing. Come on. Trying to do just everyday simple things is turning into one big nightmare. Good morning, everyone. First things first, I've been up for a while, but I'm just now eating my breakfast and I'm going to start to do my rice regime. And then I've got this tea towel here, which I literally just wrap around my leg to kind of compress it a bit whilst I'm sitting here with it on ice. <laughs> I'm just going to put my leg up on my freezer so I can sit at my desk and do stuff here. This is the current setup that we've got going on here. If you didn't see my last video, I pulled my hamstring at dance. I literally felt it when I rolled out of the splits in this really strange way and I've injured my hamstring basically I think it is just a bad pull if it was a tear I would definitely not be able to bear weight on it I can walk but I'm hobbling a bit I'm one of the worst people when it comes to injuries because I just want to do everything myself when I don't have the stuff that I love like dance when I don't have that to fill my life I feel so lost and that is exactly what's happening right now I'm just sitting here i mean i had yesterday i pulled it not yesterday but the day before and yesterday was just a blur i was just so lost because i was supposed to be doing the law ball which i couldn't do and i was so sad about that i was so excited to do it and i just i had to pull out of it because i didn't want to make it worse and i have competitions next week so a lot of people are relying on me and i don't want to let people down i hate letting people down i am trying to rice my whole life right now minimum three times a day but yeah welcome to this video guys this is i'm gonna be trying to show you how i'm gonna speed up my recovery because i really need to get it better asap there's so much wishful thinking going on right now in my head so yeah i'm praying that it will get better. Putting shoes on is literally one of the hardest things to do and I don't understand why. It's like whenever I engage the muscle, it just hurts. So it's a kind of a struggle. Oh, why is something so simple, ow, turned into such a hard task? Oh, gosh, you have to sit on the floor injuries are not the one now i have to get up again like i just want to be able to stand up normally so for anyone who knows me you know that i leave just the right amount of time to get to places on my bike so like about five minutes i'll be like yeah it's fine i will arrive on time but now i've had to walk to my lectures and i'm kind of not limping i was limping a lot yesterday it seems to be a lot better today which is so good but i'm still a bit hobbly not safe maybe should have gone to the traffic lights go holly go so today because i'm walking though i've had to leave about 20 minutes to get to a lecture and i'm like this is not okay 20 minutes to get to a lecture that is crazy and definitely not a me thing to do so going upstairs is most painful it's not actually as bad again as yesterday because yesterday going upstairs was so painful hey guys so i've woken up this morning and i'm feeling pretty happy because my leg actually feels quite a bit better this morning 
and I know that there is still a small pain like when I bend down for example like this I can kind of feel it here and then when we get lower I can feel it still in there somewhere but it's definitely better like walking around I'm not really limping anymore so I think what I'm gonna do this morning is get my muscle roller and try and roll it out gently to see if it feels any better or any worse because if it feels worse from rolling it then it's not the right time to start rolling it out but if it does feel better then I'm sure that it can't do any harm. I think the key is just to do it really really slowly. This is what I need. So this is my little spiky ball. Might be more painful but I think it's going to help me localise where I've pulled my muscle. The other day when I'd injured myself, like a lot of people do, you go into panic mode and you start going crazy on Google and you start typing in like leg pain, hamstring muscle pull and how long does it take to heal? That is definitely what I was pumping in, like recovery time for pulled hamstring. And some websites were saying like, oh, it can only be a few days sometimes, but others were like, oh, it can be weeks to months. And I was like, no, I'm like, yeah, you just get a range of scenarios. And obviously because it depends on the severity of your injury and without a proper diagnosis, then I did, couldn't really, <laughs> say exactly how long it would take me to recover so even though I warmed up like I did warm up and we all warmed up together I warmed up twice in fact I warmed up when I got there straight away and then we warmed up as a group I think even just going straight into something as strenuous as box splits it's not a good idea especially in winter now when your body temperature changes so rapidly you go from being so cold outside to an inside room which is a bit warmer and then you're trying to warm your body up which obviously takes longer so a lesson to be learned again holly and for you guys out there really do make sure you're warm that is why in ballet like you do the bar because it's not as strenuous as something in the center i am also this morning had a really good idea arnica salve i was using this a lot at the start of term so we're gonna have to use it a lot at the end of term because it soothes muscles and supports a hard white body. Whoa, the pan is frothing up. I'm doing some quinoa and I've mixed it with a little bit of rice that I had left over. And I'm also trying some of this. It's called pearl barley. I was just like, I'll just shove the rice, the quinoa and the pearl barley in the same pan. This should be fine. Like I'm hoping that it turns out okay. We'll just see what happens. Oh, this is coming to the boil. I've got my sprouts in there, my Brussels sprouts. And I'm just gonna add in the other veg because the Brussels sprouts tend to take a bit longer. And my quinoa rice pearly pearly ball pearl barley <laughs> is coming along really well actually. I've tried it and it tastes good. Such a good avocado. Mm. Sure it's fine. This is a lime, okay? It's kind of old. It still smells of lime. Look how perfect that avocado is, just sitting there like, mm, you are one beautiful avocado. So here is my bowl filled with 100% plant goodness. Um, and I'm also gonna add, because life is not complete without sauerkraut, my good old capusta. Let me get this right. I think it's a prebiotic. If I get that right, I'm really happy. So obviously it acts as food for the good bacteria in your digestive system. And then, yeah, this meal is just very well balanced and very good for muscle recovery, I feel, because we've got um, avocados for omega-6s. We've got a whole load of veggies for um, our vitamins and minerals. And then we've got pearl barley, rice, and quinoa. So quinoa is gonna give you a bit more protein. Um, but let's not forget rice does also contain protein people um and yeah complex carbs and i mentioned sauerkraut just so important to nourish your body and plants are gonna do that so well capusta i love you mm. 
look at this bowl and yes that is the other half of the avocado but i've just been taking pictures right now and it just looks so much more aesthetically pleasing with the stone in so and i totally forgot to mention the pearl barley rice and quinoa just so happened to turn yellow all of a sudden i added turmeric to um the mixture because turmeric is like literally one of the best antioxidants you can find um so yeah turmeric is amazing so i actually did this the other day it's the second time i've done this now basically i put um a mushroom in a bowl in the microwave ready to microwave it and I forget about it because I put it in the microwave at the start <laughs> and I just literally sat down and started eating my food and I was like I don't know why but I just suddenly remembered I had a mushroom so basically here's my mushroom and oh my goodness I love these MIG mushrooms are they portobello mushrooms? I'm not sure if they're the portobello ones or just a big type of mushroom if we like pour this over my food oh now the bowl's gonna be wet on the bottom and the mushroom's just gonna plop in like that and also so a lot of people are going to disagree with me and be like, what the hell, Holly? But Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts and a lot of people hate them. Mm. Because we're coming up to Christmas, guys, I'm going to be talking about Brussels sprouts all the time. I literally love the taste of them. Your taste buds change really quickly as well. So if you eat something enough, then they will learn to like them as it were so it's currently half seven in the morning and even though i can't dance obviously i need to rest i still need to be at rehearsals to just watch for corrections and help with corrections etc but basically i can't cycle well i was convincing myself i could cycle yesterday but mum was adamant that i should not cycle which is probably the best idea just to rest my leg so i'm getting a taxi and i'm sharing it with eliza so we booked that yesterday and hopefully it's going to be outside Porter's Lodge in a couple of minutes. She said she was four minutes ago and I was like, I'm still in my room. Thank you. Oh. It's 7.28. 7.28 and it's we're 728. here already. And rehearsal start at 8. We, we like mm. we wanted to be early but not this early yeah it starts at eight and we got a taxi at like half seven and we were like that's plenty of time we were here like <laughs> two minutes <laughs> two oh, minutes yeah. so it's cold and we're gonna have to sit outside the studio sorry it's all right it's all right we're early birds it's okay oh, are we are we <laughs> yeah it's really it's a bit too early to be honest with you i've just made myself a smoothie bowl and here again is another sneak peek of the book that my recipe is in um, this is the book basically. Um, it's called Vegan Bowls for Vegan Souls and I'm gonna, I'll am gonna leave all the links. It's always going to be in my description box at the moment because it's just been released. So it has some really useful information as well as recipes about like, um, so like the benefits of all the different fruits, um, the greens, um, what else, the grains, proteins, all different information like that so it's a really useful book as well as having recipes in it and obviously you can get a discount code using um vegan holly g so that'll be linked below um it's just mango and bananas basically and it, oh my gosh it's so great because i put like a whole mango in it because it needed eating then i've got some more banana on there some hemp seeds some cacao nibs frozen raspberry and kiwi so i'm very ready to eat this now i'm sorry look at this thing i have never seen the weirdest shaped pet is so big. I'm currently on hold. I'm currently on hold. <laughs> I'm hoping to speak to someone who will give me some physiotherapy advice and it's provided um, by the NHS. I think I'm just given this number. That's fine. Three callers ahead of you in the queue. What? <sighs> I think I'm doing the right things, like icing it and doing the whole rice thing, which I've been doing so much at the moment. I might actually put it on now, but I think but just getting some professional advice is always quite a good option, so hopefully they'll answer my call soon. <laughs> So it was pretty useful actually 
Well, she just kind of confirmed what I thought. She said it's probably going to be a strain or tear because there isn't any swelling or bruising. And I can start to strengthen and stretch it a bit. So I'm gonna do some of the exercises that she just sent me over now. This one would be so much better with weight. I'm just trying to like push down my other leg with my bad hamstring. But it's crazy how much flexibility you can just lose from pulling a hamstring. Like bending over when you can just collapse over normally. Now it's just like, ooh, like here I can feel it. Ooh, that tight feeling. Need to take the label off, mind you. Oh yeah, look at this. I love it so much. Sorry, I've got washing in the background, but I am banking on still performing this Saturday coming up because I don't want to let the whole team down and I have been so excited to do this. For this whole term, I've been working so hard for the competition and we've all been working hard and I just cannot not go and I cannot not do this. So I am hoping that these next few days I'm just gonna rest my leg as much as possible. So to finish this video on a good note, my leg has definitely improved since last Wednesday when I injured it. Yesterday I had a rehearsal at nine to 11 for tap. I didn't do the tap, I just did it in my trainers and kind of marked it-ish. But that was the first time that I cycled somewhere officially and it felt okay cycling is quite good for strengthening and because i phoned the physio yesterday and she said that it was okay to start strengthening and stretching a bit then i thought cycling will be fine i definitely think that in the first few days of after the injury it is so crucial to rest as much as possible and rising what you do in those first few days and immediately after your injury are critical in determining the outcome and how long it will take for you to recover i stupidly after i injured it i started stretching it out i didn't tell anyone because i went into this holly panic mode where i just think oh my goodness like i'll be fine it's just a niggle so i started stretching it out and i was like why is it hurting so much why is it hurting i was like trying to stretch out my hamstring i was feeling where it was painful and i was just in this ultimate holly panic mode and it was not the best thing i should have got ice on it straight away because when i said to someone when people noticed me they're like holly what are you doing and i was like i pulled my hamstring and then i was so annoyed and then i started to cry because i was so frustrated and they were like you need ice on it so i should have put ice on it first and i should have started compressing it straight away which i didn't do but lesson learned for next time. I also did take some ibuprofen. I know they are yeah. tested on animals and so annoyingly the ones I have with me had lactose in them. And ideally I would not have taken those ones. Ibuprofen will take down inflammation, which is good. And it's frustrating that they are tested on animals. And it was even more frustrating that it had lactose in these ones, but I n next time I'm gonna go out and buy myself ones that don't have lactose in just in an emergency scenario and mum was like Holly you need to take those ibuprofen to get inflammation down and Imogen and everyone at dance was like Holly you need to take some anti-inflammatory in tablets so I did end up taking some and then when it starts to feel better I think that with recovery it just depends on how it feels and just strengthen and stretch it gradually with regards to injuries everyone who does a sport to quite a high level will experience injuries i guaranteed at some point and it is so frustrating i know without dance and stuff like that i'm like what is my life what do i do 
So it's like, I am a firm believer in having extracurricular activities and something other than studying in your life to keep you sane. I wanted to just briefly talk about my previous injury in the past. I pulled my groin, um, but I didn't address the problem at the time. I don't think, I didn't feel it pull as much as I did last week because on Wednesday I definitely felt a pull and I was like oh uh, but when I pulled my groin it was like a gradual onset and I completely ignored the fact that I had even a minor injury and I kept dancing on it I kept running on it especially and I developed tendonitis as a result of that because I just didn't stop working on it and that was the completely wrong thing to do because tendonitis, if you've had tendonitis, is the most frustrating injury you can have because it's not the most severe or it's not the most painful but it's recurrent and it just doesn't go away. I just kept convincing myself every time I went on a run, oh yeah it doesn't hurt, I'll just keep running and no Holly, you don't do that. So now that I am so much more mature and I am I'm listening to my body and I do things intuitively now, I'm like, I have a hamstring injury, I cannot do anything on it until it's fully better. I need to rest as much as possible. But yeah, that's what I've learned from having injuries in the past, is just resting is so important. Obviously, massive disclaimer, I am no physiotherapist. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope that you've maybe learnt something about injuries or you can relate to this video in some way if you've had an injury before or you, you've got an injury now. Snap. <laughs> um, um, hopefully my next video will be competition day so yeah stay tuned for that video remember to subscribe for videos every sunday guaranteed maybe some extra ones in the week and uh, like this video as well and also comment down below your experiences if you've had an injury and i will speak to you in the next video guys